Hey, this is Jared with Content Supply, and today I'm going to show you how to use OBS and a plugin called Source Record to record all your different cameras all at the same time and make your life a little bit easier when it comes to post production. Let's get started. Check for the links in the description to follow along. First, we need to get OBS, which is Open Broadcaster Software. This is a free program and it's super easy to install. First, pick whether you're a Windows, Apple, or a Linux user. I'm on Apple Silicon, so we'll click here. Once it's downloaded, open it up and drag OBS into the Applications folder. It's as simple as that. All right, the next part has a little bit more to do, but it's still pretty easy. Use the Source Record link and open up this page. Right now, the version is 0.4.4. .4. Click the Download button. Next, find the device that's correct for you. I'm on Mac, so I'm going to click here. Once that downloads, open it up and you'll see a bunch of PKG files. I like the universal one. And you're going to get a warning saying, hey, we don't know where this is coming from. That's okay. Go ahead, hit OK, and open up your system preferences. Under your settings, go to privacy and security, and you'll see right here, it says, hey, this was blocked. Are you sure you want to open it? You say, yes, open anyway. Hit open one more time, and then it'll bring you to the installer. Go ahead and go through the process and hit close. Now, open up OBS. All right, now with OBS open, you will see a scene and you'll see sources. This is where you bring all your camera sources in. So I have my A camera. I'm also doing a screen capture to show the OBS software. And then I have my iPhone. I'll show you how, I'll get to remove this and show you how to add a camera source. Hit plus. And you'll see video capture device. This works for mobile phones, like an iPhone, or the cam links, which take an HDMI feed from your camera to your computer. I'm going to go ahead and just create new to show you this. And then from the drop down, you'll have the different ones. So here's a cam link, which is my A camera, or I can choose my phone, which is my B camera. I like to choose a standard. 1920 by 1080. This is HD quality. And instead of using one of these presets, high, medium, or low, those tend to vary. And so you just want something consistent. Choose that and then hit OK. Cool. So we have our cameras. We have our screen capture. We have everything that we need. Now we need to apply the source record plugin. And that's actually applied as a filter in OBS. So We'll select, this is our new one. We'll select filters, hit the plus button under the effects filters, and you'll see source record. All right, now it's applied. We need to first rename it. We're going to say this is camera B, and these symbols and letters are actually really helpful. This is the year, the month, the day, hour, the minute, the second. So it just helps everything stay pretty organized. MP4 is going to be the easiest for your computer to process and to keep up with. So leave it with MP4. Under different audio, we're actually going to say, okay, this is track one. That is what this is right here. And then the source, we're actually going to say, let's use the same source as our AK. So the audio will match on every recording. All right, now this part's really important. So this is the quality and the resolution for your videos. Keep it at a constant bit rate, so it, there's no variable, it won't change, but bump it up to 60,000. Yeah, that's right, six zero 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 zero. This just helps get the most out of OBS. Now at the top, record mode. This is very important. If it says none, it's not gonna record anything. But in the dropdown, you can just select recording. So this means every time I hit start recording in OBS, it's going to record on all my different cameras all at the same time. When I hit stop recording, it's going to stop recording on all my cameras all at the same time. Another thing to remember is to set your file path. So in your filters, source record, let it know where you want all this footage to go. So right now, I just have it going to my downloads. And you can actually see that right here. It's creating the screen capture and then 
camera A, camera B. And when I hit stop record, it'll finish those files. So I hit stop record and then I hit start record one more time. And you can see that it's creating three files. And these are three new files right here. So this is really cool. You'll be able to record all your footage, get everything from every camera, every angle, even a screen capture if you wanted to. All you have to do is come to your screen capture, go to filters, add the source record, tell it to go to downloads, make sure it's recording, go through the same steps. It's the same exact thing. Track one on different audio and then your source. Everything's going to match and it gives a lot of creative freedom for the editor in post-production. So now I'll open up Adobe Premiere and show you how easy it is for an editor to grab your footage, put it in a timeline, and start editing. Okay, so here we have Premiere. I'm going to grab just these clips for this example. Now I can make a multicam sequence. It's already lined everything up. And if we open up the timeline, we'll see that everything is aligned. So what's really cool about this is we can put that in a new timeline. And now we can pick which recording we're wanting to show. So now we can create a video really quickly, really seamlessly. We have all the footage lined up. We can put it into a timeline and we can make cuts and edits and go back and forth between different camera angles and just make a seamless edit. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helps you in your studio. Feel free to contact Content Supply for more information.